How's it going, Green Status? What's up? It's a bit windy out today, excuse me. But at the end of the last video, you saw us fill course number two. Crazy exciting. There's a couple things I gotta do before we continue on with the build. I gotta finish up the foundation for the inner portion of the root cellar. People have also been talking about how we're gonna keep the moisture out of the root cellar. And I got a simple solution to that. So I gotta get this started. I got a lot to do. Let's get it done. Yeah! All right, so I gotta fill up this root cellar foundation with all this gravel. But I figure just dumping it in there is gonna create a big mess. It's gonna get all over the bags. It's gonna get between the bags and the earth. And that would just be a waste. But I think I got an interesting solution. Just dump the gravel on there, get it right to the center where I need it to be, and I'll just spread it around. And it's just basically a sheet of corrugated metal resting on top of a two by four. Uh, very simple, but uh, effective. Nice. So now I gotta get to work. Gotta get more gravel in there, spread it around. Plus I gotta mess with that black ABS pipe that you see me install in the last video. So before I get too carried away with the gravel, I'm gonna install the rest of my pipe here. Uh, that way I could just cover things up, no worries. Got my three inch ABS coupler. Got my Odie's all purpose cement. And I can't open it. Always tough opening up these cans for the first time. <laughs> so I'm gonna connect this pipe up, put some holes in there. One of our concerns is that there could be radon buildup. So we're just doing this as a precautionary thing so we don't have gas buildup inside the house. The gas will be able to escape here, get into the outside where it won't cause anyone any harm. So just a little precautionary thing for us. Now that I got this pipe together, I'm gonna to put some holes in it to perforate it. One thing is I couldn't find any three inch perforated pipe. I don't even know if they make it, uh, but I figure I'll make my own. Just got some three inch ABS. I'll put in my own holes. Got a half inch drill here. And I'll uh, just drill these in. I figure half inch, plenty big enough for the gas to get in, but then it should be small enough where the gravel won't find its way in. Now I'm not measuring these out at all. I'm just eyeballing it. It's gonna get all covered in gravel anyway. Nice, looking solid. I'll just put a cap on over here. We're all good to go for the pipe. I'm just quickly installing a three inch cap over our pipe just to stop gravel from getting into the end. And then I'm just still spreading more of that gravel going around the base of the interior of the root cellar. Now the ground's all covered here, but I'm definitely not done. I have to put in enough gravel to cover that pipe, and I'm gonna try and actually make it even to the first layer of bags. And that'll make a nice, even, sturdy interior floor for the root cellar. I tell you, I have been hard at it, but we got it. I tell you, this is a beautiful day. A lot of clouds in the sky. Now, normally people are like, oh, it's a cloudy day, kind of a lousy day. People like the sunny days, but here we get so many sunny days. We get those clouds every once in a while. It feels really nice, but check it out, check it out. Nice level. I probably got about a good three, four inches down there. Just wheelbarrow after wheelbarrow, dumping it in, getting it moved around. Now that I got the gravel in place, the center's looking pretty level. I am gonna put a moisture barrier around the bags. We're probably gonna do this for both of the underground portions of this build. Since this is gonna be a living situation, since this is gonna be our house, I think we wanna try and keep as much of the moisture, any moisture that might get into these underground portions at bay. So let me show you what we got for our moisture barrier. So we had this bit of plastic outside of our trailer for the longest time. We actually got this delivered when we got the liner for the cistern. So this was going to be for the outside of the cistern, but we ended up not needing it. So I was thinking, perfect, now we can use this for the outside of the underground portion of the root cellar. That way, it'll provide a little extra barrier. And I'm thinking with those earth bags, moisture probably wouldn't get in through the bags, but unfortunately there's so many of those little crevices where between the bags, 
that the moisture could possibly seep in. So I'm thinking this would provide just a little bit extra barrier to prevent that from happening. Now this is 16 mil, which is probably thicker than we need, but it's here, so why, why don't we use it? 75 feet long, 10 feet wide, should be larger than we need, but sometimes you want them a little larger than not big enough. You can always cut away excess, but you can't stretch out <laughs> if it's not big enough. So I think my plan here is to roll the liner out, try and get it to go as much around the root cellar as possible, and then just kind of lower it down. We'll see how that works out. Maybe I'll pull the top side in, leave the bottom out, backfill a little bit, and then we'll have to flip it back and forth, depending on whether they, for their, we're doing bags or backfill on the trench. So this is a 16 mil plastic. It's gonna be a little thicker, a little bit more unwieldy than I would like, but I think it'll be just fine. I think I'll backfill around the edges and around the first two courses that we did, tamp that down, get it into place. I think that'll lock the liner in place. And then when we're ready to do bags, we'll flip it back over. And then when we're ready to backfill, we'll put it back. So it's gonna be a little back and forth with the plastic, but I think it'll give us a nice moisture barrier in between. Whew, that is a lot of plastic though. I got most of the back filling done around here, but I couldn't get any around this area because of the pipe. I'm gonna to need to put in this 10 foot pipe going up. So I'm just get this in place real quick. And then I'll do some more backfilling right around this area to secure the pipe, get it a little more secure at the base. Whew, looking good. Looking good. Kind of looks a little funny with that pipe just sticking out of the ground like that. Like I said, we don't want moisture getting into the root cellar. So I think that liner is going to really do a really good job of being that moisture barrier. And then the whole radon pipe is just precaution. So this will just be an extra measure to help that gas escape so it's not trapped inside there, poisoning us. So from here on out, it's just filling the bags, keep stacking them up, and backfilling all the way to the top. Stick around, you gotta see this thing come together. All right, we'll catch you in the next video, everyone. Later.